So what are your thoughts? Uh, <laughs> let me just get my train of thought together. I'm just yeah. like... Um, I think, yeah, my main thoughts is probably the speed of it all. Well, I think like the biggest problem is like um, university, they don't really prepare you for the industry. I mean, they really try. Um, Central St. Martins is an amazing place and uh, it's extremely creative and we're very free, but um, it's quite a shock for students once they've got to go and, and work for the industry because it's got nothing to do with what the approach we've got here. One of the biggest ones is starting off as an intern and then not, like, not having to not being able to get paid, not, like lack of opportunity. I mean, I traveled all the way to London to get, get like an opportunity to perhaps get paid to do something in the fashion industry. And like, I think it just kind of comes from the fact that like public almost devalues clothes in a way. Yeah, the idea of there's lots of waste in fashion. Um, I think specifically from my experiences as an intern, having to like cut up um, samples or um, twirls of products in order to throw them away um, because obviously they couldn't be sold, they couldn't be recycled, they couldn't be used as they never hit the stores. I mean, I understand the perspective from the company that you have to throw these things away, but obviously there's, it incurs quite a lot of waste, especially when these are leather products or you know products which aren't as easily biodegradable. They all get kind of sent into the accelerator and then off they go. Every fashion house is so different from each other, so it's very difficult to actually give a proper preparation because maybe some houses, they really put the stress on technical stuff, while we here we are more about drapings and creativity. So then it's, there is a clash when you go to the industry. But I think like the main issue, apart from like this technical stuff in the industry, is that um, is the ethics of it, because working hours, non-paid jobs, and it's so common and so considered normal that you can sometimes lose track of what is actually, you know, right or not right, or fair or not fair, because, you know, sometimes I was um, going home saying like, yoo-hoo, I have a Saturday off, like everybody else is supposed to have, but for me it was something special, because maybe it was my first day off in months. So maybe that's the... Um, that's the issue sometimes because you know, like, we are so used to be badly treated that we forget what well, well, it's right for us to ask and demand. It could be interesting to sort of uh, give students like um, a hint of what it's going to be like once we live here because for most of us when we did the year out, the internship, it was you know, once we, we left and we went to work for uh, companies and we got you know, given up computer and to work on Illustrator and do flat drawings, that was quite um, shocking for most of us and we weren't really prepared for it. Especially with internship, like in France you are under contract for 35 hours, I believe. I think my average was around 70 per, per week, so it's, it's kind of a lot. And I remember once I asked for like a, a, a weekend off and I was feeling so guilty that I said, like, if you want, instead of coming in at 10, I can come in at 7 a.m., you know, to try to, like, and, and I can keep on working at home, you know, with the computer and stuff. And it was, like, not normal because I was already exceeding my hours. So, I mean, after working a while, you start learning how to say no and how... But, you know, that's, that's the tricky part because sometimes, like, you feel like at the very bottom of the... You're just an intern and you're afraid to ask for what is actually right. It is like slave labor, like I've interned at places that I've had to, they'll, you get, like, you could get yelled at for like, n going home and sleeping, you know, or I was supposed to have a, a 30 hour shift once, you know, 30 hours. And, you know, I got away with going home for a bit. Yeah. I think though the, another thing to address is probably in relation to that, the speed in which fashion is moving. You know, countless collections are produced by multiple designers each year, and that means there's this massive surplus of clothes, and it's not addressing if we really need them, it's just lot, it's producing a lot in order to make money, and I guess you know, that us, that's driving designers crazy, and also it must be producing a lot of unnecessary waste. It is a lot to do with capitalism, 
and the fact that everyone always has to get better every year. Um, and the pre-collections are just getting even bigger and it means that it's turning into four collections a year now. And I don't know if that's so sustainable because the quality of everything that comes out is a little bit kind of, I think some brands are managing to do it and and it's just setting a really high bar for all the other brands and it just means that certain brands that maybe shouldn't are producing like a lot more than they yeah. should be producing, if that makes sense. The fast pace of the industry is obviously, you know, it's having a really big impact on designers, especially in the media at the moment with people like Raf and Albert leaving their positions in design houses. I think Raf is because he couldn't cope with the, the pace in which that he was working in and there's a really good interview with Sister Magazine about that. Um, but I think thinking of that as a byproduct of that, if all these collections are being produced, then what's happening to all these clothes, you know? Does everyone need like a pre-fall wardrobe? Does everyone need a resort wardrobe in their lives? Like obviously the companies are w wanting to make money from the selling of these clothes, but you know, yeah. where does all these clothes go? Into the ground probably. Yeah. It's not about like the content, because there is lots of content. It's about what it, what other people will think of you, you know, and that's the problem. That's the biggest, biggest problem, yeah. I think. Oh yeah, I agree. That was cool. That was good. Yeah.